Hello everyone, welcome back for another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you are going to enter the payment method on your iPhone or iPad device and you are getting this type of error on your iPhone device, expiration date cannot be in the past. So if you are getting this type of error while entering the payment method on your iPhone or iPad device, expiration dates cannot be in the past. So in this video, I'll show you how you can fix this problem. So here you will have to watch this video completely so that you will be able to fix this problem. So here you will have to tap on next. Then after that here you can see that here the error expiration date cannot be in the past. So how you can fix this problem if you are having this type of issue on your iPhone or iPad device while entering the payment method on your iPhone device. So first of all here you will have to enter your debit or credit card number and here make sure that your debit and credit card numbers are correct and up to the date then after that here is the expiry date you will have to enter the expiry date of your debit and credit card and here make sure that the date which you are going to enter should not be expired here the expiry date should must be in the futures so here you will have to make sure that you are entering the future date in expiry date option then after that here you, below you will have to enter the security code of the debit or credit card then after that here you will need to scroll it below then after that here you will have to put the billing address here you will have to enter the street you can also enter the fake one if you don't want to enter the original one then here you will have to also enter the fake one then here you will have to enter the city name then here you will have to enter the zip code of your city if you don't know the zip code of your city then here you can check from google then after that here you will need to enter the mobile phone number if you don't want to enter the mobile phone number you can also enter the fake number here then after entering these things you will need to tap on next So after that here you can see that their problem has been fixed and here is something another problem which belongs to me and here you can see that their problem has been expired here you will have to just enter the expiry date in future should not be in the past so in this way you can fix this problem if you are having this type of issue on your iphone or ipad device so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.